What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? How's you doing? How's your mama doing? Well, I'm going to tell you like this, man. Because this is getting on my nerves because I think it's pretty much bullshit. On how this man got a million dollar bond. And they paid half of it. And he's out walking the streets with an ankle monitor on. How can anybody... See, this is the second time he's been let out. Got out on bond. And it's kind of stupid on how this man keeps on getting out on bond every time. It makes no fucking sense. That, to me, I think it's like this. I think the judge is getting paid by his family to get him off. Because there's no way in hell a person, a suspect for murder will ever get a bond their bond is revoked their bond is revoked they will sit in a jail cell until court to the court date this guy keeps on getting out of jail out of prison how does that work where he keeps getting out of fucking prison getting out of jail well, he's got an ankle bracelet. Well, he can cut that ankle bracelet off if he want to. And still skip town. I, I just don't get it, man. All, like, for real, somebody's paying off that judge. Because, man, if I was a judge, I would have said no bond. No bond. Bond is revoked. He won't have nothing. He can't get out. He won't get out until court, the court day. And so, uh, I'm telling you, man, he killed a kid. He killed a kid that was unarmed, and fuckers were still taking the phone. Oh, Trayvon attacked them. Why would, no, answer, answer this question. Why would anybody attack a person with a gun? Why? And it's funny how. One of the videos I did, I actually put a link. I put a link to a video to uh, Dick Gregory speaking on the Trayvon case. And it was back in March. The video was done back in March. March, April, May, June, July. Five months ago. And he's talking about his case. And I said, it's awfully funny that the incident happened 70 feet from the house from Trayvon's house and his parents didn't know that was their son three days he's been sitting up three days that Trayvon's body's been sitting up in the morgue his parents didn't know because they didn't contact him they gave Trayvon Martin's body a drug test and alcohol test to see if he had any blood drugs or, or alcohol in his system they didn't find none, you know, but they did not give Zimmerman one. The reason why they didn't give Zimmerman one but get, gave Trayvon Bodies a, a drug test and alcohol test because they harvesting his organs. Three days he's, Trayvon's been missing. His parents been to the police station for three days. Filing a false, filing a missing report, missing person report. They told him on, told them on the third day that their son is dead. How come they waited three damn days just to tell them their son's dead? This man gets to walk out. People sitting up there. Oh, he's innocent. Zimmerman's in. No, no, no. He's guilty because he killed an innocent person. Then you got witnesses that's never been seen. Except for one. And that's Trayvon's girlfriend. Where's all these witnesses singing? Oh, Trayvon was on top of him, hitting him. All this and that. Now, now one of these witnesses ever shown their face. To me, it's a bunch of hearsay. Two people that are his friends are lying. Saying, oh, we wasn't there, but we heard it, so we know he's telling the truth. Yo, ass, his two friends, Joseph Taffy and Oliver something, this Oliver guy, 
they're Zimmerman's friends. Saying, oh, I, I know what happened. Trayvon was, but I wasn't there. They telling the police and everybody on national TV. Oh, we know that Trayvon attacked him and, 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 and beat him up and all like that. But we wasn't there. If you wasn't there, how the hell would you know what had happened? And when I was, and I'm going to say this, when I was watching that Dick Gregory video, when I was watching it, and it kind of confused me a little bit. It kind of, it, it, it kind of got to me because, because when uh, Dick Gregory talked about it, he's like, he talked about how, uh, since the investigation. How he went to how Trayvon went to the store. How come the police didn't go to that store and get the tapes and viewed it and watched it to see if anybody was with him or anybody was following him? When did they show it? They showed the tapes last month. They showed the tapes where he went to the store last month. Why didn't it? Why did it take? Five, why did it take five months for the police, the police to view them damn store tapes? Why? Then it took last month, what was it? Back in, uh, back in, uh, not two months ago, they finally showed the tapes of Zimmerman's confession. Not confession, but what, uh, reenactment and his story from the police? Like, for real though, uh, for real though, they are tapes. I just don't get these fuckers down in somebody need to go down there and clean house at the police station. Why the fuck are these people why the fuck are these people not doing their job? Why are they just now getting certain evidence which they should have had it back in February? They should have had all this evidence right out that he killed Trayvon, right? He killed Trayvon. They should never release them. Second, they should never gave him his fucking gun back. He should have been sitting in the jail cell and see what the DA wanted to do. If the DA wanted to charge him for murder, go right ahead. Why I, I, I just don't get how these people can live like this where they can sit there and do any Like, I just don't get it. The man's getting bonded out twice. Shouldn't that first bond... should have got him because one thing is him and his wife lied about having money if I would have been that just I didn't say no way she, she lied about the money and you got a second passport bond revoked I would have cut the bullshit and said bond revoked you would not be able to leave I said I'm not going to give you an ankle bracelet fuck it you're going to sit in prison until your court date Cause that's all. Uh, uh, that's that's all he should have gotten was sit off in the prison cell, and sit in the prison cell and waited till the damn court hearing. It doesn't make no fucking sense on how this man, this man, can get away with so much. Can get away with so much. He's got away with murder. He lied about the head wound. Like I said, that looks like food coloring. That looks like food coloring. Doesn't look like an injury. Because he had two band aids on it, way up here on his head, right there. At the top of the head, and one way below. Why is it like, you see how close the wounds are? I, I just don't get it. I just don't get this man. How can these people let him walk out and then his, and his wife got sentenced 20 days in jail for lying? For lying. And y'all still want to take up for this man. Why would anybody take up for me? It's like it's like people taking up for Charles Manson. 
I know you're probably saying, oh, why would you compare him to Charles Manson? Well, because he killed somebody, and he's getting away with it because the damn judge is, the judge is getting paid. The judge is getting money. Oh, he's not guilty. I, I bet you, I bet you they find him not guilty. And when they do, they're going to kill that man. They didn't walk out in the street. They're going to kill that man. He better pray to God that he don't get released of being found not guilty because this shit is fucked up more than ever. I got a million dollar bond. They paid him. Pay what they can pay. He walks out with the ankle bracelet on. And they put him in a safe house. And uh, think about this. How long? How long before somebody finds that safe house and kills him there because right now that tension is building up down in Florida that this man has killed somebody's son it could have been your son it could have been anybody's son or nephew or cousin or little brother y'all be ready to kill this man uh, but since it's somebody else's son, y'all re oh, he really did. He was self-defense. No, not no 17-year-old kid is going to attack a man with a gun. Why would any teenager attack a person with a gun? They wouldn't. They wouldn't never attack somebody with a gun. Because they see the gun, they're going to run. They're going to run. Because there's witnesses that lie that's never been seen. That's never been seen. It's a bunch of hearsay on the witnesses except for one witness who was actually on the phone with Trayvon. And that was Trayvon's girlfriend. She heard him say, somebody's following me. Somebody's following me. That's all you heard was somebody's following me. And the next thing you know is, plot, 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 pl you heard Trayvon getting killed. Like I said, I just don't get it. You got the police telling him don't follow Trayvon, but he did. You heard Trayvon say somebody's following me. I I just don't get it. I it's really it's puzzling on how how this man can get can get bond out of jail get bond out of jail and get an ankle bracelet I, I, I'm telling you man that it, it makes no sense on how this man can get how this man can get away with murder I'm telling you man this, this dude is to my eyes he should have been found guilty. He should have been locked up. Because to me, it seems like the Florida police or Sanford police are not doing their fucking job. The fucking chief of police already got, uh, already got, already got fired or stepped down, or whatever. Because they thought he was going to jeopardize the case. Well, it wasn't just him going to jeopardize the case. It was the whole fucking department. It was the fucking judge because one thing is they did not get the evidence that they needed. They really didn't want to prosecute this man. Because one thing is he should have been prosecuted and prison and in prison. Because one thing is there's been murder cases where they've been prosecuted. Murders, murders go to, like when they found the murder, the murderer. They did not sit there and wait, waste no time. When they found the murder, what happens? The murderer will go to jail. He will be in jail until his sentencing. Then after he's been sitting, they say what day his his uh, court day is. They say well, he's going. He goes to his court day, court hearing, and they sentence him he or she to how many years in prison and they won't see the bright they won't see a day they won't see not a day but they won't see the sun and 
now, and like I said, man, and this is one case I just don't get on how he can kill somebody. And to me, it seems like they treating this case like a fucking circus. It seems like that's what they're doing. It treating it like a circus act. I just don't get on how this guy can kill somebody, and he gives. And I don't get how this guy can kill somebody. They lock him up for a few hours or an hour, a few hours to or whatever, and they let him go, and they give him his gun back. Then they get, arrest him again, get him a hundred, uh, get him a bond. They pay half the bond. He he gets out. He has a second passport. Him and his wife lied about having money, so he goes back to prison. Then he goes to court. They give him a million dollar bond. They pay what they could, and he gets out again on, with the ankle bracelet. And he goes to a safe house. They are treating this damn case like it's a circus, eh? Because there is no way in hell that anybody that kills somebody will have a fucking bond. The police tape gives it away. When the police says, don't follow him, he did. Don't follow him, he did. Even a girlfriend gives it away where she said, well, yeah, this is what happened. He got, he was on the phone with me and he said somebody was following me. The next day the phone went silent. He got killed when he was on the phone with his girlfriend. 70 feet for his parents' house. 70 motherfucking feet from his parents' house. Parents didn't even know he was dead for three damn days. Three damn days. So how in the hell? I, 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 it's mind fucking boggling on how this man kills a kid. Kills a kid. And act like shit ain't happened. It, it pisses me off. Uh, it just pisses me off that this man is about to get, about to get set free from murder. He's about to walk from a murder charge. I just don't get how you gonna let this man walk from a murder charge after killing a teenager. People say children is our is our future. We have motherfuckers like Zimmerman killing them. Where's the future gonna go? Nowhere. You let the guilty walk among the people and you let the innocent die in prison. That's how it works. I guess that's how it works for t t today. Justice is supposed to protect us of the people. When you arrest innocent people and you let guilty people walk, I don't think that's fucking justice. I think it's bullshit. If I would have killed somebody, I would have been sitting up in a fucking prison cell with life or death row. That's how it is. Life or death row. Life or death row. That's how that shit walks. Is. That's how. If he, like I said, if he walks, if he walks, and they say, oh, he's walking because of self defense. That's telling everybody in the world, I'm saying it's telling everybody in the world that you can walk up to a police officer and shoot them in the face and say, oh, and claim self-defense. That's that's what it's telling the people. Oh, you can shoot anybody in the head, kill them, and that's self-defense. And you can walk away from murder charge. If, they, if, if you kill somebody, I say, I did it because of self-defense. And they said, well, you're going to prison for murder. Just tell them, oh, Zimmerman got off because of it. Zimmerman got off a uh, murder charge. I 
I just don't get it how this man can get away with so much. To me, man, I think I think y'all need people need to do more down in Florida. That's all it is, man. I think they should do more down in Florida because this is something else. Because they're letting this man walk. They're letting them walk. It's like telling everybody, I killed somebody and I can just walk around and be free. Where other people can sit there and they kill somebody and they go to prison. It just don't make no sense. It just makes no sense. It's it's just it's just straight up wrong and stupid that this man's walking. And he's about to get away with murder. So that means he gets to walk around, and kill innocent kids, and say, "Oh, self defense." I don't think Trayvon even put his hands on him. Maybe to get Zimmerman off him. Maybe, maybe not. I don't but that's how it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think about this topic, about him about to walk. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. If you don't like what I got to say, move on. If you're rooting for Zimmerman, I hope you burn too. If you agree with me, tell me what you think on about this topic. Is he is he in the wrong? Is he about to walk? Anything? Just stick to topic. I'm Afro Joe. I let me.